Hey, it's Doc Williams, and in this video, we're going to use the mole map to do mass to mole conversions. In this problem, we're asked to find how many moles of water are produced when 38 grams of ammonia reacts with an excess of oxygen. The first thing we're going to do is to identify our known and our unknown. Our known is 38 grams of ammonia. And our unknown, or what we're being asked to find, is moles of water. We always begin with what is given. So we have 38 grams of ammonia. And whenever you begin with something other than moles with stoichiometry problems, you're going to need to convert that to moles. In this case, we have mass, and we're going to convert this to moles. The mole map tells us which conversion factor we need to use. In this case, it will be molar mass, and it's going to be set up with moles at the top and the grams for the molar mass at the bottom. So I'm going to have grams of ammonia at the bottom and moles at the top. Now I'm going to use the periodic table to calculate the molar mass for one mole of ammonia. I have one nitrogen and using the periodic table I see that nitrogen has a mass of 14.007 and I have three hydrogens which each hydrogen has a mass of 1.008. Now to calculate the mass of nitrogen in ammonia, one molecule of nitrogen times 14.007 will give me 14.007 grams per mole. And three hydrogens times 1.008 gives us 3.024 grams per mole of hydrogen in each molecule of ammonia. To find our total molar mass, we will add 14.007 plus 3.024, which is 17.031 grams per mole. So what this tells me is that I have 17.031 grams in every mole of ammonia. To add the molar mass into my conversion factor, I have grams at the bottom. So the mass, 17.031, would go at the bottom. We have moles at the top. What this does is this cancels out the grams of ammonia and leaves moles of ammonia. And if we look at our given, we do want moles, but we want moles of water instead of moles of ammonia. So we have another one to do. One thing this mole map does not include is that if you're going from moles of one substance to moles of another, you will use mole ratio. In the mole ratio, we have to go to the chemical equation in order to determine that. We want to cancel out moles of ammonia, so we will put that at the bottom. And we want to keep moles of water. And we know we want to keep that because that is what we are asked to find. Going to the chemical equation, we will use the coefficients in order to determine our mole ratio. So the coefficient for ammonia is 4, and the coefficient for water is 6. Now that we have everything in place, we will multiply the numerators, get that answer, and divide it by the denominators. I'm going to add that extra math step in here so that you can see exactly what I'm doing. 38 times 1 times 6 is 228 at the top, divided by 17.031 times 4, 68.124. Then you just take 228 divided by 68.124, and that would give you 3.3 moles of water. It's 3.3 because we have two significant figures.
If you need more practice determining mole ratios, watch the video mole ratios and mole to mole conversions. If you want more practice with molar mass, look at the video molar mass and mass to mole conversions. In this problem, we're asked to calculate how many grams of lithium nitrate will be consumed to make 375 grams of lithium sulfate, assuming lead sulfate is in excess. We start with our known, which is 375 grams of lithium sulfate. And our unknown, which is what we're looking for, would be grams of lithium nitrate. We're going to begin with our given of 375 grams of lithium sulfate. And anytime we're given anything other than moles, we want to convert that into moles, which means we will use molar mass with the moles of lithium sulfate at the top and the grams of lithium sulfate at bottom. Now we're going to calculate the molar mass for lithium sulfate. And if I look at the chemical formula, I see that I have two lithiums and each lithium has a mass of 6.94, which means that I have a total of 13.88 grams per mole of lithium in every mole of lithium sulfate. Next, I have sulfur. I have one sulfur at a mass of 32.06. And by the way, if you're not sure where I'm getting these masses, I'm looking at the periodic table and writing down the mass for each element. So one times 32.06 is 32.06 .06 grams per mole of sulfur. And my next element in um, lithium sulfate is oxygen. I have four oxygens. Each oxygen has a mass of 15.999, which is a total mass for oxygen of 63.996 grams per mole. To find my total molar mass, I add all of these up, which gives a molar mass of 109.936 grams per mole. So I want to make sure that the number or the mass is attached to the grams. So in this case, that would be at the bottom. So I will write 1.09.936 at the bottom. This will allow me to cancel out grams of lithium sulfate and leave moles of lithium sulfate. Going back over to the mole map, I see that I am now in moles of lithium sulfate. But what I want is grams of lithium nitrate. So now we can use the mole ratio to change from moles of lithium sulfate to moles of lithium nitrate. Just remember that if you need to change from moles of one substance to moles of another substance, you will use mole ratio. So set this up. We want to put the substance we want to get rid of at the bottom with this lithium sulfate, and then write the substance we want to keep at the top, which is lithium nitrate. We're talking about moles of each since we're talking about mole ratio, and we use a chemical equation to determine the numbers to attach to our mole ratios. The coefficient for lithium nitrate is four, so we'll add a four in our numerator next to lithium nitrate, and the coefficient for lithium sulfate is 2, and we'll put a 2 in the denominator next to lithium sulfate. This will allow us to cancel out moles of lithium sulfate and leave moles of lithium nitrate. Now, going back to our mole map for our next conversion, we are now in moles of lithium nitrate, and we want to go to grams of lithium nitrate. To go from moles to grams, we will use molar mass, but this time we'll put moles at the bottom and the grams at the top. So we have one mole of lithium nitrate, and we want to find the grams in every mole of lithium nitrate. We go back to using our periodic table to calculate the molar mass. 
In this case, we have one lithium. We have one nitrogen. And nitrogen has a mass of 14.007. And we have three oxygens. Which is a mass of 47.997. If we add all those up, then we have a molar mass of 68.994 grams per mole. We will attach our number to the same side that has the grams which in this case is a top. And this will allow us to cancel out moles of lithium nitrate and leave grams of lithium nitrate. To carry out the math, 375 times 4 times 68.999, that answer divided by 109.936 times 2 to give us our grams. Calculating all of this out gives 4 170.7. I'm taking in an extra number so I can have the room for sig figs to round the sig figs. And in looking at my sig figs, I have three. So 471 grams of lithium nitrate. Now remember that numbers used in conversion factors do not calculate into our sig figs. Those are what we consider infinite numbers. So the only ones that will go toward the significant figures would be any of the measurements that's given to us. And in this case, it's only the 375 grams of lithium sulfate. And this would be our answer. As always, thank you for watching.